All right, guys, uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to get your roof transferred to your elevation view. And I've got on the screen just kind of showing you what the end product is going to look like. Um, and do ignore the fact that I don't have any doors or windows on my building. Uh, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Uh, you would need, of course, to transfer all of your doors, windows, and everything else down to your different views. But uh, what this view represents, this is my, my the front of my house, or what should be the south of my house right here, south on the compass. And what it represents is what I could see if I were actually standing in front of the house, and looking back toward the house, or looking north. Um, so in this view here, you can see that I see this front panel that's on the roof right here. Okay, and then I see this panel that is a little bit behind it right here. I don't see this panel, so there's no reason to represent that panel. All right, um, then I circle around, and from this side, you can see that it's just what it's exactly what I would see if I were looking, standing on the ground, looking west. And all I would really see is this panel of the roof, none other. Circling around again, the back one is really easy. Um, now you don't see any of this because this is shorter than this. You can always tell the height of a roof by the span of the walls. So uh, the span of the walls here is much larger than the span of the walls here. So this is going to have a lower roof and this is going to have a higher roof. This higher roof, of course, hides all this from the back. So all you would see from the back is this general roof shape. Coming around to the, uh, what is this, the west side. And um, looking from the west, or looking to the west, no, wait, from the west to the east, I uh, represent what I can see from standing here. So I see this panel right there. And I see this panel right here. So those are the only two panels that I would see, and I've got those represented right here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, show you how I got there. All right, to get my roof down to my elevation view um, and make it look like a real house, um, first thing I want to do is get my roof that I created over here to the right um, <clears throat> and move it over on top of the house itself. Okay, so... I want to uh, select all the geometry, and of course I've already done that with mine, but just kind of do a uh, crossing window where you come up to the top right, and then you left click once, and then make a window, click, and then go up here and hit this group button. Okay. Now, of course, you'll have it selected again, and you'll click on the move tool right there. And the move tool wants you to pick a base point. So I'm going to pick this point right here. All right. And another thing to do before you do this is you want two lines. You want to draw. You see these lines right here? Actually, I'll go ahead and drop this. Let's put it right there. Okay. So you want to draw these one foot long lines. Uh, and actually, I could make these a little bit closer than what I have so that we can plainly see them. Uh, what is that line segment okay so we can have them kind of close together where we can see them both at the same time so I'm just gonna draw them uh, you know and use another color these are temporary lines they're not gonna stay and pick up that geometry type in one foot and enter and now you got a one foot line all right I'm gonna draw another one right here pick up that geometry come over to the side one foot right there okay so now I have something to line up by so I'm gonna click on my roof again click on the move tool pick a base point and now I'm gonna come over here and adjust alright so the reason I drew a one foot line is because that represents the overhang of my roof that's how much it overhangs the house to create the eave alrighty and get it lined up on both of those lines right at the end of both those lines and then drop okay so now my roof is perfectly aligned and of course I can delete these just whenever I get ready you don't have to do it right now all right and now I'm going to use my construction lines what I'm interested in transferring are the edges and the ridges edges and ridges so I'm going to do a construction line 
get both my roof or all three in this case edges okay and and if you have like turns and things in your house like this then you have to represent those down here basically it's just one straight line that represents this whole wall right there okay one straight line all right so i've got um that edge now i want to get this edge and this edge now I'm gonna get this ridge and the ridge is basically what I'm interested in is the area where all the ridges meet every time I have one of those meeting points I'm gonna mark I want to extend this line okay I want to extend it and change its layer put it on the roof layer and now I'm gonna extend it click the extend tool which yours might say trim if it says trim just you know open the box and make it extend click enter to select all and you want to extend it to the very end okay because this top line this top of wall line is actually going to become the bottom of your roof okay now you have to have a fascia involved in this okay so I am going to offset that eight inches that is my fascia that's the part of the roof you look at instead of looking at the bare timbers underneath and it also keeps water and wind and, and air and stuff like that out okay so offsetting eight inches right there and I'm gonna go ahead and close up the ends as well of course they look like they're already closed up because I have those lines there but they're really not I also have to create an edge right here next thing I want to do is decide um, the pitch of my roof we're gonna do a 612 which means a 6 inch rise over 12 inch run okay so basically it's going to elevate 6 inches for every 12 inches of horizontal travel uh, first I need to draw 12 inches over to the right and I can line it up with the wall because the wall is 12 inches from the edge of the eave the eave is one foot long so that makes it easy to mark that okay I'm gonna click and then I'm gonna draw up six inches okay and I actually I could have just kept that line and done this okay and I want to measure my angle so I'm gonna come over here to the annotation tab right up here if you don't see angular you would click on this drop down arrow and click angular typically it's on linear and I want this angle right here okay and I'll have to zoom in to see what it says it says 26 degrees so I can get rid of all this and I'm gonna draw this line all right and I want to draw it to the first intersecting point which is at this ridge I'm not gonna draw it up there I'm gonna draw it across just like this and to keep it from snapping on to other points of geometry like up in here or down in here I'm just gonna overdraw that line I'm gonna use my tab button to tab over to the polar coordinate line and type in 26 degrees okay now that uh, point from here goes straight so I can go straight until I reach right there okay so this line right in here so from the point straight across to that line okay and then from that I'm gonna go all the way down to the other edge all right now I gotta represent these ridges right here that I can see from the front and those are gonna start not on this point right here but they're gonna start back here on this point and you're just going to draw them down to the edges because the the uh, angle has already been determined and has already been set by the other geometry so that is pretty much it for there for that side okay so that would be what the front of the structure would look like let me double check oops let me go ahead and delete all of these lines and you can see what that looks like okay now I'm gonna go around to the side and I want this to also uh, represent what I can see if I were standing over here on the east now 
I can do 26 degrees. Now I have to kind of read the compass backwards because of the position that I'm in. Um, I have basically taken the Cartesian coordinate system and turned it on its side. Uh, so in order to do this, to find 26 degrees, I think I'm going to use 90 degrees as a reference point. Oops, not times. Plus 26 degrees equals 116 degrees. Okay, so I need this line to be 116 degrees. I'm going to tab over to the polar coordinates and 116, enter. Okay, so the English has, angle, <laughs> English, angle has been established. And now I just need to draw from this point straight across to this line. Okay, because that's where it meets right there. Okay. And then I'm going to go up. I need to go to this point, And I got to be at uh, that same 26 degrees. So I'm going to angle it upwards. Tab 119. Okay, and then from that point down to here, and that completes that part of the... Okay, and that's what you should see from that end, from that side. Okay, so let's go around to the back or the north side of the house, and we're going to transfer everything we can see if we're looking south. Establish a 26-degree angle going up to this ridge point. So I'm going to go <clears throat> just past the line. And uh, let's see, I'm going to do this time 180 minus 26, and that will give me the, the uh, angle that I need. Hundred and fifty-four. Okay, that looks about right. <clears throat> so I'm going to tab to the polar coordinates and 154. Enter. Okay, now I'm just gonna go to this point, draw over here a straight 90, you know, straight line, straight horizontal line, and then back down to this edge over here. And I'm gonna trim. And that's exactly what you would see from the back of the house. Okay, go over here to the side. Okay, now I had to represent, have to represent this wall turn right here, right in there. So I represent that with this vertical line right there. All right, so I'm making this part right here. Grab a line, you know, 26 degrees. And this one's going to be, we're going to figure this one out by subtracting 26 from 90 degrees. 90 degrees minus 26 students, equals. Reminder, the JYC Bible Club will meet today in the lecture hall at 1245. No lunch will be served today, so please bring your lunch and join us. Okay, make that uh, actually came out to 64 uh, because of the way we're looking at the compass. And I'll take another line and draw it from here, from that point, down to the edge of the roof right there. Okay, my next line is going to start, let's see, how's that going to look? That's going to be a little bit lower going that way. So uh, this comes down. Yes, yeah, so that'll be just a straight horizontal line going from here to here. Okay, and then from here, of course, we don't have to really measure the angle because we've already determined that, um, and we're going to bring it down to the edge of the roof. Make sure I haven't missed anything. I'm going to trim. It didn't work right. Okay. And that's everything you would see from this side. So that would establish your all of your uh, elevations. Okay. So make sure all that gets done. And the next video, I'll show you how to annotate. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll probably show you how to annotate your elevations before I have you annotate your floor plan. Uh, so just stay tuned for that one.